Peace and greetings to you. This is Dr. O, the PA Pro. Uh, let's see, it's night again. I just got off from yet another long shift. Um, I, I wanted to do a follow-up video um, to my uh, video um, on um, nurse practitioner salaries versus uh, PA salaries. Because uh, I, I was looking at, I was just scrolling through some YouTube videos on my, my uh, other phone, the hospital phone. And looking at how other people had covered this topic and um, one was a uh, gentleman Andrew Michael who I, th I think is a physician assistant I'm not sure and then another video called um, PA versus NP which are more respected which would I hire and this was by the is um, a doctor named um, I don't even know this guy's name He's, uh, it's called the, it's called the, uh, the Dexit video. And, uh, it's, I was looking at the comment section and there's a lot of like really mean comments. I don't know, I wish I could find a more, um, articulate word to, uh, describe it, but there's, um, NPs or people who, who I think may be NPs, NPAs, uh, going back and forth making, uh, you know, kind of spewing vitriol about, you know, our profession is better than the PAs because they don't have the, num the same amount of, um, of uh, training and then other, P and then there's PAs, you know, you know, NPs are, are just glorified nurses you know, going back and forth. And I, I think it's bad for the profession. It is what maybe a med student or something talking about um, you know PAs are wannabe doctors but you know I, I think it's unfortunate when you see people that need to kind of spew vitriol or, or, or um, mean comments about um, other professions because it's not necessary um, the fact that studies show that PAs make a little bit more money than than NPs, I don't. I don't think it's really significant. I mean, you're talking about a few thousand dollars, and when it comes to things like autonomy, I mean, autonomy. I, I can tell you, having spoken to many doctors, they'll tell you. One doctor with whom I um, used to be my supervisor at another clinic. This guy's in his 80s. He said, you know, the day of doctors having 100% autonomy are over. You know, doctors don't have 100% autonomy. They've got to answer to uh, the, the, the medical licensing boards in which they reside. You know, when, when some, you know, and they have a big target on them. You know, when some um, uh, famous person dies of a uh, painkiller overdose or, or, you know, something else or something apparently goes awry in the person's um, medical uh, treatment, you know, the doctor is the one who winds up getting his or her license taken away and sometimes going to jail. Yeah, so, you know, it, it's, doctors don't have 100% autonomy. Uh, I know that's, that sometimes, it, to me, it seems like nurses, nurse practitioners will tell their total autonomy. Um, I, I don't know about that. I, 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 I'm not a nurse practitioner, I'm a PA. I function with what I would say is about 95% autonomy uh, and that's that's fine by me you know I, I don't necessarily want 100% autonomy I like working on a team now I'm a team leader in that you know when we're when I'm working with the the nurses and the the um, patient technicians and the, the nursing assistants and some of the therapists I may be the one to, to give orders within the the scope of my practice but that's nothing to uh you know stick out my chest and say hey look i'm i'm better than you guys yeah it's nothing to do that about you know it's um i think that we have got to keep our eye our collective eye on the proverbial ball which is the the best treatment for the patient there are times in my opinion when a nurse practitioner may be, certain, may be better suited
to serve a certain group of patients or a certain community. There are other times when maybe it's a PA that may be better suited to see to um, treat a certain patient or a certain patient population. Other times when it may be an MD or a, a, a DO. So I, I think on one hand it, it comes down to, to ego for the for those individuals that that want to um, argue and, and insult other professions. And you know, ego really has no place in medicine. You can be proud of your profession without putting other professions down. It's just not necessary. And you know, nurse practitioners and PAs, I, I think our profession is still in the early phases of, of um, being defined. Um, I, I'm not going to talk about nurse practitioners too much because you know, I, I think we PAs always don't get it 100% right. I know DNPs are, if I'm not mistaken, DN, uh, doctors of nurse practitioner. That's the standard for the nurse practitioner now is, is to have a doctorate, a doctoral degree. For us PAs, the standard is is um, the master's degree. So, you know, I, I did my master Howard University when I went there. Did not have a master's program, so I got my bachelor's, and then I went on to get my master's from uh, University of Nebraska Medical Center, but. You know, the profession's changing. I don't know. Maybe I've been practicing for 15 years now. Maybe another five years, I'll be referred to as a physician associate or something, or a general practitioner, like I think they do in in, in England. I'm not sure. But it you know, just you know, in terms of uh, things like titles, who's above who, who gets paid more than who. I think arguing about that really does not serve either profession uh, and it certainly doesn't help it doesn't help the health care um, challenge that we have in this country we still have a lot of people that are uninsured we have a shortage of doctors who who want to go into primary care I don't blame them it's 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 probably one of the most overworked underpaid uh, uh, medical profession you know, when you're talking about uh, people getting commensurate, you know, paid on a level commensurate with their education, you know, it's it's hard for for primary care doctors and internists. But uh, I I would I would uh, I would encourage NPs, PAs, and uh, MDs to try to work together, and um, you know, just remember why we got into this profession, which was to to help, you know. Make money also, but um, first and foremost to, to, to help our fellow man. Uh, I hope you found this uh, valuable information or valuable opinion. Uh, please leave your comments, suggestions, and or uh, questions in the comment section. Peace.